another fantastic episode of art journaling along with some art journal gab. Are you happy? Because I'm happy. Well, I hope you're happy. So today I'm going to talk about something that has captured my heart like a man. Watercolor. I love watercolor for oh so many, so many reasons. Um, the weather has been a little crazy lately like for the past three days we've had just storm after storm after storm and you'll probably hear some thunder so it's thundering a little bit right now and the wind is just going haywire it's very hazelnutty out here today so hopefully I, I won't catch any rain on the camera that would make me really sad so back to the subject at hand I'm gonna introduce you guys to a couple of the products that I use and explain how I use some of these because some of it is a little unconventional but um, I love my watercolor and the first product that I'm going to show you is the Derwent watercolor pencils and I bought these when I was um, a in my late teens, ran into the art supply store to buy what I thought were just plain color pencils, but no, they were watercolor pencils. This is <laughs> the container they come they were the, the container mine came in. Um, quite loved, quite used, quite painted on. Um, this has traveled with me many places, and that's one of the reasons that I love this set so much. Um, this is my black pencil. How little. Um, I don't use these like most people use these, strangely enough. Um, a lot of people just color it down, you know, draw whatever they want, and then they put water on top of that, you know, with a brush, and then voila, watercolor. Me, I've got to do things a little bit differently. Um, as I said, I was traveling a lot, and I took these with me uh, a bunch of places. And these are really easy to carry. You just need these, a little cup of water, maybe some napkins, and a paintbrush. Um, what I would do, because it was no muss, no fuss, I would take my wet paintbrush and pull the watercolor off of the, the pencil itself um, while it was in the tray, and I would paint that way. And that's how I learned to use watercolor. And um, I, over the years, you know, people would see me out at a coffee shop or whatever doing this and they would just, they were astounded that I was doing it that way. Um, you know, oh my God, I never thought to do that. And this would be great for my kids, you know, not to make a mess. So just, you know, word to the wise, if, you know, you want to use it for that particular reason, by all means do it. Cause it's, <clears throat> especially with the kids, because if they keep the pencils actually in the case <laughs> and do it like I did, there's there's really no mess. It's great. Um, the second one that I would like to introduce with one of my favorite colors, this. This is the Art Studio by Bata, B-A-T-T-A-T. -T -T. I don't know what language that is or if it's a name, patat. To me, that sounds like a dirty Cajun word. <laughs> but, you know, she fell right on her patat. But, <laughs> anyway, it's watercolor in a tube, and it came in one of the, the kind of like suitcase, you know, artist case that uh, you can get at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, you know, all the art supply stores carry them, and usually the general stores as well. And, you, um, they usually have like three different, three or four different mediums within the case. It's usually for beginners. Um, it's, you know, watercolor, acrylic, color pencils, pastels, sometimes graphite pencils. You know, it comes with all of this stuff. And I have like three or four cases of these. So I started um, digging into these and using these recently. And I, you know what? I know that the cases really don't cost that much and they're they're great for presents, you know, for especially for kids that are just starting out with their you know, finding their niche in the art world. And um I wouldn't discount these. Like, you know, these I think this kind of stuff is just totally underestimated. Um I like the pigment in these. 
and I like the thickness of the paint and I like that it's watercolor. You can water it down, obviously, but I, you know, I think, you know, I'm just going to keep using these two. I really like these. Now, as I've probably told you guys before, I'm terrible at color theory. I am not good at color theory at all. And whenever I mix stuff, it usually turns into mud. And I found this, which I think I've showed you guys before, but I'm going to talk about it again anyway. And it's already seen some, some pretty big love here. Um, this is a palette that I found um, a couple of weeks ago. And it's by Artist Loft. Low Cornell, I think is the name of it. Anyway, um, I got this anywhere from six to eight bucks. Really handy. Love the colors. Love, love, love. And um, then right after I found that, I found this same company, Pearlescent Watercolors. I've talked about these too. I love these because I love the glimmer mists, the, the sprays, but the color selection is so limited. And these are a lot a lot like glimmer mists in so many ways. Um, now, if you do decide to get this, don't judge right off hand, um, because when I first started painting with these, I was like, ah, you can't even see any glimmer. But as soon as it dried, oh my God, it was like magic. It's great. Um, really, really love that stuff. Oh, and it's starting to rain. Yay. So, the other day, or yesterday actually, I made a video um, recording one of my latest art journal ventures and the camera didn't do right by me and I was very upset. It didn't cover the whole page and so <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and throw a picture on there for you guys. Okay, and I'm working on my technique as far as like recording and video and stuff. And sometimes things don't always go the way that you want them to, but have faith, have faith, things will get better. So that's pretty much all I have for today. I'm gonna work with my watercolor and my gesso and record it for you guys so you can see what I'm doing. and. Hopefully it'll catch the whole page instead of what happened last night. It's starting to downpour, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go, and I'll see you next time. Okay, so I took some bubble wrap and covered that in gesso, and I'm just pressing that down, and uh, I'm going to fix some little blemishes that came up from the previous page, which happens to me a lot. So gesso is my best friend and I'm gonna cover that with my pearlescent watercolor. And as you can see, some of the watercolor from the previous page came through, but that is totally okay. And you can also see the white dots from the bubble wrap. And this is some tracing paper that I put some watercolor on, and I used a paint marker to do the filigree on the inside of my little circles, and I'm gonna cut those out and use those on my page. Now, if you guys are wondering why I'm using a latex glove to glue these down, simply because I just didn't want any glue on my hands today. Not today. Nope. So, no glue. And, and now I'm just using a black pen to put down my filigree. Sorry about the camera angles. I'm still working that out. My, my camera goes a little wonky, so. Anyway, but at least we're right side up now. Yay! Again, here's the end result. If you guys like what I do, please don't hesitate to let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section. And as usual, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. All right, well, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon.